with Ju Judge Katanji Brown uh, Jackson. Have you made up your mind yet? Well, well I have, George, and uh, good to be with you this morning. You know, I've, I've thought um, initially, uh, my sense is that the president certainly had every uh, good intention and every every right in the campaign to talk about putting uh, the first black woman on the court. I think it's time for that to happen. Uh, I was hoping that I could be part of that. I had a great conversation with her. Really, there are two criteria, as I said immediately. One is, is the person qualified for the job? And two is, what's her judicial philosophy? Uh, she's certainly qualified. I think she's got a great personality. I think will be a good colleague on the court. But the judicial philosophy is, seems to be uh, not the philosophy of looking at what the law says and the Constitution says and applying that, but going through some method that allows you to try to uh, look at the Constitution as a more flexible document and even the law and there are cases that show that that's uh, her view. I think she's certainly going to be confirmed. I think it'll be a high point for the country to see her go on the court and take uh, her unique perspective to the court. Uh, but I don't think she's the kind of judge that will really do the kind of work that I think needs to be done by the court. And uh, I won't be supporting her, but I'll, I'll be uh, joining others in understanding the importance of uh, this moment. If it's a high point for the country, why not support her? Well, I think the lifetime appointments have a different criteria than other appointments. I've supported a significant number of uh, President Biden's nominees to, to offices that will end, their time will end while he's still in office or when he leaves office. I think that's a different criteria than somebody putting somebody on the court for life. 